Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color, and this is your reading for the 25th of February. <laughs> February 25th. I switched my calendar to Mark. Don't ask. Okay. Um, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one reading, all the information is below. If you're interested in my t-shirts, just go to my website, ripecolor.com. Same spelling as this. Um, I wanted to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to all my previous subscribers and my commenters. And um, I just uploaded all the uh, March readings. So please check them out. And it's a lovely day today and I'm gonna get outside. It took me a long time to upload, but you know, learn as you go, learn as you go, hopefully. <laughs> Sometimes you think you're learning as you go and you just keep going and going. It's like, oh, I messed that up, I messed that up, I messed that up. Okay, one, two, three. That's interesting. Okay. Here goes my phone. One, two, three. Interesting, you get some big boy cards. Um, wow. Okay, you know, earlier in the week, it was sort of like, okay, we're all confused, stay still. And now it's really getting to like, let's get going. Um, justice ultimately is about balance, but it's also about truth. And I also feel, you know, there's an illumination. This might have to do, I mean, this doesn't look like it, but there's a full moon coming. So there might be a new energy that you're working with or that you're, um, I don't know, forming. So this, this card ultimately, <clears throat> excuse me, it's about inspiration, but it's about direction. I always feel like this card, I mean, it's a blessing from above. And I also get the illumination here. I get the illumination here, the illumination here. So I feel like there's a real message coming through for you. Um, the star is considered one of the greatest, um, uh, one of the most benefic, I should say, cards in the deck. And the star, I always feel like this is my calling. This is my calling, you know, like I know it's out there, you know, I want to be a farmer. I could feel it in my bones or I want to be a writer or I want to, whatever it is. Um, I feel like there's a, there's this truth that came through and this illumination that came through that's very clear and there's a balance to it and you're being called forward. You're being called forward. And this could, there's could be, uh, it's like a destiny card. I also feel like there's always a healing involved in this card because, you know, she's working with water. There's no, <clears throat> don't get caught up in the masculine feminine because it's not about that. Um, and interestingly, here we have, I mean, this is probably more of an eclipse, but, you know, full moon is coming, I guess, I can't see from here. Um, I think it's Thursday or Friday this week. And, um, you know, a lot of people see this as walking away. I always see this as walking toward. There's something that was established that feels good and da, 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 but it's almost like not enough. It's almost not enough. So, and, and you are moving toward your, I, this is a spiritual quest. As far as I'm concerned, for me, this card is about the spiritual quest. So it, I mean, it all makes sense together. You get this real understanding and this real vision and it's very balanced, it makes sense. The thing is about all this is that it makes sense because this is Libra, which is an air sign and balanced. This is Aquarius, which really comes uh, intellectually through the mind fixed. <clears throat> and then moving into something new. So 
Yes. Is it time to follow your dreams? Yes. Yes. I yes. <laughs> could I could I be clearer? <laughs> C. <laughs> How's that? You know, sometimes it's like we have this uh, notion of like, well, it has to work out this way and that way. We don't really know how it's going to work out. Our job is to be on the road. Our job is to be on the road and to go after what we want. And um, does it always work out perfectly? No, it never works out perfectly. But if you're on the road, then you can see what's ahead of you. You know, you could be going toward. And that's the important thing. That's the important thing. And I really feel also like um, it's time to come out of our slumber and to really go after what we want. Because if we're all going after what we want, then, you know, it, it's a much more um, hopeful, optimistic road, you know. And this also, it's about optimism too. It's about optimism for me. I hope for you too. And interestingly, so this is indoor, right? This is very indoor. There's a, a slight bit of sky showing. And then it's really an outdoor thing. It's really an outdoor thing. And also because there's water involved and cups involved, this is something that excites you. This is something that makes you feel whole, that makes you feel loved, that makes you feel loving, makes you feel healing. You know, this is, you know, it's not like, well, I guess I'll open the, I'll open this sort of business because I'll make money. It's not about that. It, it's really about doing something that you really love to do that you're called to do. And, you know, it's time to, you know, start. It's time to start, you know, to like go after what you want in whatever form that takes. You know, I like to always give examples, but you know, sometimes my examples are so off to the particular person. Um, so I'm not going to give one today. I am gonna go out in the sunshine and buy some peppers because I really need some peppers because I wanna make some stuff and I don't have any peppers. Um, so blessings to you. Thanks for tuning in. One-on-one's available all below t-shirts available on the website, as well as scarves and paintings and bags and masks. And I don't know, there must be something else too. Blessings to you. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon.